Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Now over the last few weeks and months I've bought lots of modern coins. Silver proof coins, silver coins, and even 50p's from circulation. So lots of modern coins, I'll show you them all right now. So as I say, lots of coins to get through in today's video. And even halfway through, we will do an unboxing. We'll start off with some 50p's of the Olympic style that I'm missing for my collection. Beginning with this one here. Now although this is the most common of all the Olympic 50p's, this is Olympic archery, the most common one, this is actually one I was missing and did not have for my Olympic collection. So for the price of £1.50 at the antique shop, I was very, very happy indeed to buy this coin and add it to my 50p collection as the wider collection, and then more specifically, my Olympic collection, which I'm missing a few of when I bought some this week. So what we'll do is we'll add in all the Olympics I've got at the end of the video, as it's a little spoiler alert, there are more than one, I've bought more than one Olympic 50p this week. But overall, a nice coin. This is the same obverse they all have, of course, with the fourth portrait of the Queen by Ian Rank Broadley and the date 2011. Of course, the year before, the London Olympics of 2012. Now, 12 years ago, this coin is 13 years old, so quite a while back, but still in pretty good condition to be circulating for most of that. So there we go, that's the first coin and a good way to start, in my opinion. We'll do one more Olympic now, then move on to some silver and silver proof coins and then come back to the Olympics as we next have this one here. One of the best Olympic designs, in my opinion. This is Olympic Volleyball. And I mean, as you can see, this is just a really nice coin. Just a good one to see, even, you know, however far you zoom out or however close you get in, that volleyball is just the center of attention always. and really catches the light really well, look at that. So very nicely designed a coin, of course, 50 pence. You have the volleyball team there, the net, and the volleyball being passed over in the game at the Games of the Olympic 2012. Once again, the same obverse design, 2011, Ian Rank Broadley's portrait of the Queen. So there we go. Two nice 50p to start off with, and these are both £1.50, so I paid just £3 for those two, a good price. Now the next coin you may have already seen, as I did a video after Christmas showing all the coins I got for Christmas. But I can't remember if I included this coin, this coin being the Sixpence 2023. I can't remember if I showed it to you, I don't know. Um, so if you've seen it before, then it is, you know, it's a nice coin to see again. But if not, I did also get this coin for Christmas, although that was quite a while ago. I've only just remembered though that I haven't, or potentially haven't shown it to you. So here we are, here's the reverse design. This is a lovely silver proof design with the crown, the royal cipher of King Charles III, the date, and then a wreath around. It's similar, quite similar to the older style sequences with the wreath around and then the main design being the center with the denomination there. Although the usual one would have had the denomination to the center and no royal cipher. But it's a very nice design and it's struck the old specifications, 925 silver, 19 millimeters. So it's sort of, you know, a hark back to the older days. And it's quite cool that they still make sequences after being first produced in 1551. They are still made to this day every year. So a cool coin, of course, this is a Charles III sixpence. So there has not been a monarch yet since Edward VI that has not had a sixpence piece stuck under them. So very cool. A nice coin that you may have already seen, but I can't remember. And this coin I got for Christmas, so it was free, but they do retail for about £20 online. Now, while we're doing coins you've already seen, I will just show you quickly this, these two coins. As I bought these two at the Royal Mint a while back. Now, you know, you may have seen that video, and I've got these two coins. This is one of the two I've got. But I'll unbox them, unwrap them now, and put them into my collection with my other Tudor Beast coins. And of course, this is the sixth of the Tudor Beast ones, this one specifically, the Tudor Dragon. So I personally take them out of these packets. I mean, I don't know if that's the best thing to do, but it's, these are coins not bought for investment. These are ones that I enjoy to collect. So I'm not looking to, you know, preserve all the value. Anyway, let's have a zoom in, zoom in on the design here. Wow, that's a nice design. I do like it. I think I do prefer the Queen's Beast designs, but these aren't bad, to be fair. You know, they're quite good designs and have a, you know, they've got big shoes to fill coming after the Queen's Beast, so they haven't done too badly at all. This is a 2024 coin with, of course, King Charles III there. And again, a date to the obverse. So a double dated Tudor Beast Carolean coin number six of 10 for the series. And just a very, very quick overview of the series. We have 6 of 10, the Tudor Dragon, 5 of 10, the Seymour Unicorn, 4 of 10, the Bull of Clarence, 3 of 10, the Yale of Beaufort, 2 of 10, the Lion of England, and then the first one, 1 of 10, the Seymour Panther. So there we go, I've got 6 so far, and I'll buy the other 4 as they come out to build the Tudor Beast collection. Very nice. The other, the other one I got at the Royal Mint is this coin here, the 75th birthday of King Charles III. As I say, I'll just unbox it now and get a quick better look. So there we go. And this is a great design. I bought this just because it's just a you know truly lovely design and a cool moment to commemorate 
the king's 75th birthday. Look at that. So a lovely, lovely coin. This is 2023, as with the odd burst there. And again, the Martin Jennings portrait, a historic year. And if we just zoom out quickly, we can, that's in, zoom out. There we go, we can see through the bunk pack moments of King Charles III. So very, very cool indeed. And these were both, as I said in the Royal Mint video, £15.50 each. That's £32, sorry, £31 for the two, but no postage as I got them there and then at the Royal Mint in person. Right, a bit of chaos going on here as we can see. Let's now return to some coins you haven't seen before, namely some silver coins, like this one here, which I paid, as you can see, £22 for. A good price, I think, because these are £20 coins. And this is the Sir Winston Churchill 2015 UK £20 fine silver coin. And as with the other ones, I will unbox this out of the packet, of the plastic bit, sorry, but not out of the actual bunk pack. So there we go. This is a very cool coin, of course, commemorating a great man, Sir Winston Churchill. And there he is on the coin. You know, he's, he's quite a, he's, that's quite a good portrait, actually, to be fair. There's been many of Churchill, of course, right back from the Churchill crown in 1965. This one being one of the better designs, in my opinion. You know, you can quite, you know, if you just saw this, saw this coin, you'd know if the word wasn't there, Churchill underneath, you'd know exactly who that is as Sir Winston Churchill. So a cool coin there. You've got to get the right lighting to catch it, but a nice design nonetheless. And then it's, I think it's the same font. I'll put a picture there. The same font for the word Churchill. I was right back in 1965 for his you know, memorial crown. Um, the same font has been used, which is a nice touch, in my opinion, if I'm correct. And then to the obverse there, we have some of the, uh, you know, the wording about Sir Winston Churchill and then the design. This is the fourth portrait again of the Queen, IRB. The last year it was used, 2015, and the denomination there, 20 pounds. So a cool coin, but a cool face value, sorry. And this is a weight of 15.71 grams of 999 fine silver. So a cool coin. Now that's not the only 20 pound coin I bought this week. Because I actually, well, these I've bought over the last few months, sorry, but um, I've actually also got this one here, a timeless first, which is, again, 22 pounds, the George and the Dragon 20 pound fine silver coin. So I had to get this, and this is a great design. I mean, it's been used for over 200 years on coins, on sovereigns, on crowns, on all kinds of things, and now on a 20 pound coin. So this one is again, 20 pounds, as it says, for the fourth portrait of the Queen. This is a bit of an earlier one from 2013, now 11 years old. So, you know, and all these are modern coins, they're not brand new. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure you know the design very well. It is, of course, iconic and classic. And look at that. It looks really cool to see it on a sort of, not quite sovereign size, but a sovereign sized coin. Not a big crown or whatever, but not being gold. A bit of a silver sovereign there, some may say, the timeless first. So there we go. A lovely £20 coin. And I have bought one more £20 coin. Not in the packet, so it's already ready to go. But it was, again, £22. This is my favourite of all of them, I will say. Because look at this. I mean, this is a truly, truly great design. Oh, I love it. I do love that. I love that a lot, actually. I really, really do like that. We have Lady Britannia there with the trident and the shield and the Lion of England by her side, the helmet and draped clothing, the First World War and the dates it was on, 1914 to 1918. And then just look at that, the detail in the background. I mean, this is a nice design there, but the background detail is amazing. You can just really, really see I can't zoom in any further, but if I did, the detail would still be there to support this high resolution zoom in. And then the date there, 2014, of course, 100 years since World War I began. So an absolutely, just a brilliant coin, in my opinion. Um, I wish it was larger, because this design just would truly grace a five pound coin. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely lovely again, 20 pounds. So there's 60 pound face value here, and I paid 66 pounds. So not terrible, in my opinion. So I'll slide these to the side and do an unboxing of coins I bought on eBay. So let's bring it in here. And what did I get is the big question we will have. Well, if I can get in, I will show you. Right, we're in. I think this is the goodies. Let's get these out. There we go. So what did I get? Well, of course, you will know roughly what it is. This is a modern coin unboxing video. But let's find out exactly what these coins are. Ooh, very well packaged. Credit to the seller. This was from eBay. Aha. So, we have two. Is that two? No, three. Three Olympic 50Ps. A little spoiler there. Um, even more Olympics, because I really wanted to finish my Olympic collection. And after today, I'm very, very close. So, what ones did we get? 
Well, we can see they're fell out straight away. This is Olympic shooting. A lovely coin, one of the best designs of the Olympic set in my opinion. This is actually quite a nice quality one to be fair. There we go, Olympic shooting. Again, London 2012, 2011 coin. Now I'll put the price on the screen of what I bought for these. They're all the same price each. Um, so, you know, a little pair of three, or I can't remember, it was about, it was a few pounds each. Wow, these are nice condition. This is a great, ooh, that's a nice one. That is really good condition actually, must be said. Quite sharp edges still, you know. So, but this one hasn't been circulating for that whole time of these 12 years. Very cool. This one is, of course, Olympic wheelchair rugby, I believe. Um, I'll, I think so. It doesn't look like a rugby ball there, but it, I think it is wheelchair rugby. Perhaps they use round balls in wheelchair rugby. And then the final one here, the worst design, absolutely horrible design. Treacherous excuse for artwork there, I must be honest, but a coin I needed for the set. This is Olympic weightlifting, and you can kind of see what's been done there. There's a barbell and the person trying to lift it. So yeah, I mean, not the best design. I, I don't like the design, to be fair, but you know, a nice pair of three. So there we go, five more Olympics now add to my Olympic collection. So let's do that right now. Right, so here it is, my collection of Olympic 50Ps. As you can see, we've got lots of them. We've even got the uh, rarest one here, football, very nice. But there are a few gaps to fill. We can do some of those gaps today. Wheelchair rugby is there. And it is wheelchair rugby, so that is rugby. I guess they just use different balls for the wheelchair version. There we go, that's one done. We then have Olympic shooting, which is here. Very nice indeed, that's two. We then have Olympic archery, which is down here. There we go, that's three. We then have this Olympic weightlifting, which is here. Very nice, that's four. And the fifth one, is this one here, Olympic Volleyball, which is right there, and can now be the final one for today, ticked off for my Olympic collection. So there we go. Only four remain now, triathlon, judo, gymnastics, and wrestling. There we go, four to go to complete the sets. That means I've got 25 of the 29. Very nice indeed. So there we go. As always, comment down below the best coin today. Was it 50 Ps, 20 pound coins? Was it these bunk packs I bought or the Royal Mint? Or even this? If I've not traded it before. Lots of coins I bought, and as always, we'd like to, I'd like to know the best one in your opinion. So there we go. As I say, please do comment down below the best coin you think I've got over these last few weeks and months. And of course, as always, please do leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and learned something new. Thank you for watching as always, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs. Bye for now.